Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be discussing about the effective height of a particular antenna. So before we talk about the effective height of an antenna, we need to know what a dipole antenna is. So what is a dipole antenna? It is the most widely used class of antenna which has got two identical conductive elements and these two identical conductive elements may be a metallic rod or copper wire. So this is a dipole antenna which has got two identical conductive elements. Now let us assume that the length of this particular dipole antenna is given as lambda by 2. So now the length of this particular dipole antenna is taken to be lambda by 2 okay so now let us assume that we have a particular electric field incident on top of this particular dipole antenna we have an electric field incident on this particular dipole antenna and therefore in the presence of this electric field the effective height or the effective length of this particular dipole antenna changes this therefore is the effective height of that particular antenna as simple as that that is the height of this particular antenna changes when it is subjected to a particular external electric field and therefore as a result of this this particular height is referred to as the effective height of a particular dipole antenna so now let the effective height of this particular dipole antenna be taken as he he so now when this particular dipole antenna is placed in this electric field, a particular voltage is induced onto this particular antenna. That is because we have studied that when a particular conductor is placed in a particular electric field, that electric field will induce a certain voltage onto this conductor. And similarly, in this case, this electric field would induce a particular voltage on this particular dipole antenna. And hence, we can obtain the value of this voltage as V is equal to HE into E. That is the value of this voltage that is induced onto this dipole antenna. And hence, from this, we can obtain the value of the effective height of the antenna as HE is equal to V by E. So, therefore, practically, this is how we can obtain the expression for the effective height of a particular dipole antenna. So, we just saw how to practically calculate the effective height of an antenna. Now, let us see how we calculate the effective height of an antenna using the current distribution. So, for that, we will be using two cases. One is when the length of the antenna is L is equal to lambda by 2 and the other is when the length of the antenna is L is equal to lambda by 10. So, let us go into the two cases. Let us consider a particular dipole antenna where the length of the antenna is given as lambda by 2 and therefore whenever the length of the particular antenna is lambda by 2 then the current distribution is in the shape of a sine wave that is it would be somewhat like this. So this is the current distribution. So now if this is the current distribution then now we have to find an average value of this current distribution. So considering this we see that an average value would be somewhere around here. So now when we look at the average value of a sine wave we know that the average value is given as 2 by pi. So therefore the average value here is given as 2 by pi which equates to 0 0.64 and therefore the effective height of this antenna is given as He is equal to 0 0.64 into L. And therefore, this thus is the effective height of a dipole antenna with length L is equal to lambda by 2. Next case, let us consider a dipole antenna with a length L is equal to lambda by 10. So, in this case where the length of a dipole antenna is lambda by 10, then we see a current distribution in this form. So this is the current distribution that we get. And now when we take the average value of such kind of a current distribution, we get it somewhere around here. 
and its value is found to be 0 0.5 and therefore as a result of this the effective height he can be written as he is equal to 0 0.5 into l this is the effective height of a dipole antenna which has got a particular length l is equal to lambda by 10 so this thus sums up the effective height of a particular antenna so what is effective height of an antenna well the effective length of a particular antenna changes when it is subjected to a particular electric field and therefore this effective height is what we have found here we have seen both how we can calculate the value for a practical application as well as how to find the effective height using current distributions thank you guys and stay tuned for the rest of the videos